O my Lord and Jesus Christ, prostrate in your divine presence, I implore your most loving heart to assist me as I meditate on the 24 hours of your most sorrowful passion. In your passion, your love drove you to suffer so much in your adorable body and in your most holy soul unto death on the cross. I implore your help your grace and your love to have profound compassion and a profound understanding of your sufferings as I meditate on this hour. I offer you my desire to meditate on all the hours, even on those I cannot observe. Please accept my desire to meditate on all the hours, even when I must sleep, or tend to my other duties. O merciful Lord, grant that my loving desire, united to you, may bring your holy blessings down upon us all. I give you thanks, O Jesus, for calling me into union with you by means of prayer. To glorify you, I unite myself with your thoughts, your tongue, and your heart with which I intend to pray. I fuse myself in your will and in your love, and extending my arms to embrace you, I place my head upon your heart and begin. I see, Jesus, that in your love you are not stealing the heart of the thief alone, but the hearts of the many who are dying. You place at their disposal your blood, your love, and your merits, and employ all loving stratagems and allurements to touch their hearts and snatch them all to yourself. But even in this your love is resisted. So many reject you, distrust you, and despair. And your sorrow is so great that you are again reduced to silence. O oh, my Jesus, I intend to make reparation for those who despair of your divine mercy at the moment of death. My sweet love, inspire everyone with unlimited trust and confidence in you, especially those who are in great agony. By virtue of your word, Grant them light, strength, and assistance to die a holy death and make their flight from this earth to heaven. O Jesus, in your most sacred body, blood, and wounds, you contain all souls. Therefore, by the merits of this most precious blood of yours, do not allow so much as one soul to be lost. May your blood and your voice cry out to everyone again. Today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus' third word. Woman, behold your son. And to John, behold your mother. O oh my Jesus, crucified and crushed amidst ever-increasing pains, on this cross you are the true king of sorrows. In your many pains, no a soul escapes you, and as you sacrifice your own life for each soul, your love finds itself hindered, despised, and ignored by souls. Unable to unleash itself, your love grows more intense and afflicts you with unspeakable torments. And in these torments, your love seeks for something more to give to souls. Your love, compelling you to conquer souls, makes you say, O oh, souls, see how much I have loved you. If you can choose not to consider your own soul, consider at least my love. And in seeing that you have given souls everything and have nothing more to offer them, you turn your languid gaze to your mother. On account of your sorrows, she experiences sorrows greater than death itself, 
and the love that tortures her crucifies her as much as you. As mother and son, you understand each other and you, Jesus, sigh with relief and feel comforted in seeing that you can give your mother to us. Seeing in John all of mankind with a voice so sweet as to move our hearts, you say, Woman, behold your son. And to John, behold your mother. Your voice, united with the voice of your blood, descends into her maternal heart and continuously repeats, My mother, I entrust all of my children to you. Convey to them all the love you have for me, so that all of your motherly care and tenderness is directed to them. In this way, you will save them all for me. Your mother accepts your word, but your pains are so intense that they again reduce you to silence. Oh, my Jesus, I offer reparation for the offenses committed against the most blessed virgin, for blasphemies uttered against her, and for the ingratitude of the many who refuse to recognize the blessings you offer them in giving her to them as their mother. How can we thank you for such a great blessing? O oh, Jesus, on behalf of all, I turn to you the source of all good and offer you your own blood, your own wounds, and the infinite love of your own heart. O oh, unblessed mother, how moved you are upon hearing the voice of your son as he gives you to us as our mother. I thank you, O blessed Virgin, and to thank you as you deserve, I offer you Jesus' own thanksgiving. Sweet Mother, be our mother. Watch over us, and do not allow us to offend you in the slightest way. Keep us always united to Jesus. With your own hands, bind us to him in such a way that we may never go astray again. I unite myself to your own intentions and offer reparation on everyone's behalf for the offenses made against your son Jesus and against you, my sweet mother. O oh, my Jesus, while you are immersed in so many pains, you plead yet more earnestly for the salvation of souls. And I will not remain indifferent to wounds by reverencing them, soothing them, and inebriating myself in your blood. I plead with you, souls, souls. I want to sustain your pierced and sorrowful head to offer you reparation and ask for mercy, love, and forgiveness on behalf of all. O oh, Jesus, reign in my mind, and for the sake of the thorns that pierce your head, heal it. Do not allow any disturbance to enter me. Majestic forehead of my beloved Jesus, I kiss you. Draw all of my thoughts to contemplate, love, and understand you. Most gentle lies of my beloved Jesus, though covered with blood, I entreat you to look upon my misery, my weakness, and my poor heart, so that I may experience the wonderful effects of your divine gaze. Ears of my beloved Jesus, though deafened by the insults and blasphemies of evildoers, you strive to listen to us. Oh, listen to my prayers and do not reject my reparations. Listen, O oh Jesus, to my heart's cry and fill it with your love so that it may abide in perfect calmness. 
most enrapturing face of my beloved Jesus, reveal yourself. Let me see you, sweet Jesus, as this will empower me to detach my poor heart from everyone and everything. May your heart, your beauty, continuously enrapture me and keep me always immersed in you. Most sweet mouth of my beloved Jesus, speak to me. May your voice always echo in me and may the power of your word destroy all that opposes your love and your divine will. O oh Jesus, I place my arms about your neck and embrace you. May you extend your arms to embrace me. O oh my good Jesus, let us embrace each other so tightly that no human force may separate us. In this embrace, I place my face upon your heart, and with trust in you, I kiss your lips and ask for your kiss of love. Make me breathe as one with your most sweet breath, and infuse in me your love, your will, your sorrows, and your entire divine life. Most sacred shoulders of my beloved Jesus, always strong and constant in suffering for love of me, Grant me the strength, the constancy, and the heroism to suffer for love of God. O oh, Jesus, may I never be inconstant in love, but may I share in your immutability. O oh, burning bosom of my beloved Jesus, let me share in the loving flame you can no longer contain. My heart eagerly searches for them in your precious blood and wounds. O oh, Jesus, these flames of your love torment you so much. Oh, my good Jesus, share them with me. Are you not moved to pity for a soul so insipid and lacking in love as I? Most sacred hands of my beloved Jesus, you who created heaven and earth are now transfixed and unable to move. O oh, my Jesus, continue your creation of love by creating new life throughout my entire being, thus creating a divine life. Speak your word over my poor heart and transform it completely into your heart. Most sacred feet of my beloved Jesus, never leave me. Allow me always to run with you. May I never take so much as one step away from you. Jesus, transfix me with the nails that have transfixed your feet, so that with my love and reparations, I may relieve you from the pains you suffer in your most sacred feet. O oh, my crucified Jesus, I approach your cross and adore your most precious blood. One by one I kiss your wounds, intending to reverence them all with my love, adoration, and most heartfelt reparations. May your blood be for all souls, light in darkness, comfort in time of sorrow, strength in weakness, forgiveness in guilt, help in temptation, protection in danger, assistance in death, consolation in purgatory, and wings to carry all souls from earth to heaven. O oh, Jesus, love makes you suffer and I come into your heart and establish therein my niche and my home. O oh, my sweet love, from within your heart I call all souls to you. And if someone should approach you to offend you, I will place my heart before yours to keep him from offending you. Enclose him in your heart, speak to him of your love, and convert his offenses into love. 
O oh, Jesus, never let me leave your heart. Nourish me with your loving flames and exchange my life with your own life so that I may love you as you yourself yearn to be loved. Jesus' fourth word, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Sorrowful Jesus, abandoned to you and clinging to your heart, I number your pains. I see that a convulsive tremor runs throughout your most sacred humanity. Your limbs violently shake as if one limb were about to separate itself from the other. And amidst contortions caused by these atrocious convulsions, you cry aloud, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? At this cry, everyone trembles. The darkness becomes thicker and your mother, frozen with grief, turns pale and faints. Beloved Jesus, my life and my all, what do I see? Oh, you are about to die and the pains that have continuously accompanied you are about to leave you. Despite so much suffering, you see with immense sorrow that not all souls are incorporated in you. Rather, you see that many souls will be lost, and you feel their painful separation from your mystical body. You cry out loudly to all hearts. Do not abandon me. If you want me to endure more sufferings, I am ready to bear them all for your sake. But do not separate yourselves from my humanity. This is the sorrow of sorrows, the death of deaths. All that I endure is nothing compared to having to endure you separating yourself from me. Oh, have pity on my blood, on my wounds, on my death. I will cry out to your hearts continuously, oh, please do not abandon me. My love, I unite myself with your immense suffering. You are panting and your most sacred head drops to your chest. Life is abandoning you. My Jesus, I feel death overtake me. I too want to cry out with you. Souls, souls, I will not remove myself from your cross, nor cease to unite myself to your wounds, but by means of them, I will plead with you for souls. If you wish, I will enter the hearts of men to surround them with your sufferings so that they may not escape you. And if possible, I will place myself before the gates of hell in order to turn back souls who have chosen to go there and lead them to your heart. But you continue to agonize and remain silent. And I, I weep over your impending death. Oh, my Jesus, I unite myself with your passion and press your heart firmly to mine. I kiss it and gaze upon it with all the tenderness of my heart to console you more. I unite myself with your divine tenderness itself and make it my own so as to offer you divine compassion to transform my heart into rivers of sweetness and pour my heart out into your heart to assuage the bitterness you experience on account of the loss of souls. This cry of yours is so painful, more painful than the abandonment of your father. It is for souls who have left your presence 
and have become lost that makes this painful lament escape from your heart. O oh, my Jesus, increase in all souls your grace, so that no one may be lost. And may my reparation be applied to those souls who choose to be lost, so that these may convert and be saved. Lastly, O oh, my Jesus, may this extreme abandonment you experience assist the many souls who love you and keep you company in your abandonment to the point of allowing themselves to be drawn by you into a state in which they do not experience your consoling presence, that is, into interior darkness. May their sufferings be as supplications that beckon souls close to you to comfort you in your sorrow. 